All right, we're recording now, so stop swearing. No. <laughs> Tanner. All right. So, all right, uh, we're going to do five examples, so let's get started. Three parentheses, 2x minus 4 parentheses equals 7 minus x plus 5. All right. Just glancing at this problem, do you guess that you know how to solve for x? Mm. I'm hoping the answer is yes. Not that you're already doing it. I'm saying like, <laughs> I'm saying like, do you think you'll be able to? Okay. Mm -hmm. Something I want to remind you, everybody look up, is that this minus does get distributed to both. So you might as well make this a plus and put a negative one on the outside right now. So you remember to distribute it. And then your plan should be, Distribute everything you need to, get the x's on one side, get the numbers on the other, solve for x, okay? Try it with your partner. If both of you are stuck, let me know. There's going to be a lot of waiting in this video. Go, go for it. Talk to each other. There's going to be a lot of waiting in this video, guys, so you're going to want to um, probably pause the video and try it yourself and then fast forward until you see my pen start to move again. Sorry, I can't stop and start these things. This is an old program. No, you don't distribute the seven, no. No, because it looks right. So. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I have finished your um, just two of them so far, two of the chipmunks. Do they look like they're supposed to look like? Yeah. Yes, I do. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass these around and have you guys sign them, so we can start putting stuff on the wall. Distribute. Okay. 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 Add or distribute the seven? No, it's seven plus negative one and plus five. I said that I didn't put the Okay, you were both arguing with the not distributing the seven? Okay. Okay, so you're distributing the seven. The right answer is two, by the way. Yeah, Sorry, it's like life. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is what it is. Did you get it right? Yeah. Cool. Help Sophia. Yeah, but it's fine. At the end of class today, I'll show you guys a video where Sandy's playing cards with Bo if you want. Yeah. It's very cute. Oh, yeah. So you just yeah. plus the Oh, Jackson and Natalie, you're all done? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. then seven minus five. Those two look like they're done. Those two look like they're done. Yeah, yeah. So it's seven plus negative one. Seven minus negative five. Wait. Yep. Seven minus negative five. Wait. Seven minus negative five. All right. Make sure you talk to your partner and decide <laughs> who's doing what. <laughs> if you want to come up here. Because you said minus negative five. Oh, negative one. I want a prize though. You just write it. You write on my Write nine. Write nine. Right. So then what I did? That was terrible. 
I'm thinking of slime. Five, slime? Eight, I don't want to slime. I want to so post it. I want to post it. Make sure you draw you. Make sure you draw I just wrote it out. She said she has to be a personal portrait. Well, I can draw you big portrait. Is there a negative to the uh, Talk here by the computer. Who had that brilliant idea last time? Emma. I'll just read this part. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you distribute the negative to both the x and the negative, or the 5, and it makes all that. Then you need to isolate the x on one side. So you just add the x, then add the x on the other side. Tanner, does it matter what side you have the x on? Not really, no. Okay. Just got to have it on one side. And then um, you gotta take the 12, so add the 12 and add it to the other side. Or, yeah. <coughs> then, or, yeah, they do that, then add the 12, that makes it 14. Then divide the 7 with itself and the 14, and then you got x by itself with x equals 2. So good, so brilliant, guys. Yep. Surprise right now. It's a, uh, thank God, it's fly day, so there's a lot of, uh, there, I think there is a lizard there, though. I've also got, I'm a winner signs if you like. I would like a winner sign as well. Okay. All right. Uh, I said we're doing five, right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, number two. This one I think I'd like to do with you. All right, so example two. Um, is going to be this. 2x plus 4 over 3 plus 1 half x equals 1 fourth x minus 7 thirds. Now, I know a few of you who don't like fractions are probably having, ew. like, a mini panic attack. Yeah, uh, Even I, who like fractions, look at this and go, ew. Okay. What do you have to do when you're adding or subtracting fractions? Um, Common denominator. Now, what do you do with this? Look up. One half times x. What if I didn't want that x to be right next to it? Should I put the x on the top or the bottom of the fraction? Anybody know? Mm-hmm. Do you know why? Because... Okay, because this would be like x over 1 that you're multiplying it by, do you see? So it would be x over 4. So I'm going to rewrite this really nicely quick and write 2x plus 4 all over 3 plus x over 2 equals x over 4 minus 7 over 3. Now, to combine this stuff together, I'm going to need a common denominator anyway. And do you see how on this side... I just need it to be in common between 3 and 2, and over here, 3 and 4. But to be honest, I'm going to have to put it all together anyway eventually. So why not just make them equal on all of them? 12. 12. All right. Can we do this in our heads? The bottom, we, we took 3 times 4 to get 12, right? So we have to multiply the top by 4 as well? Somebody tell me. 8x plus 16. Good. Did I lose anybody? All right, this one has to be 12, too. Which should the top be? Good. OK. 
Okay, next one is 12 on the bottom. What should the top be? Okay, somebody besides Katie, because Katie gets it. Bottom is 12 here. What should the top be? All right, you ready for the most amazing thing in the world? Yes. Do you guys understand that right now a fraction, if it's on the bottom, is the same thing as divided by 12? What's the opposite of dividing by 12? And you can do anything to a problem as long as you do the same thing to both sides, right? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to multiply everything by 12. So what am I left with? Do I have to distribute that 12 into the 8 and the 16 and this 6 over here? I could, but then it would just cancel out with those 12s on the bottom anyway, right? So it just makes 8x plus 16 plus 6x equals 3x minus 28. Do you guys understand that? So it's kind of like multiplying by 12 here got rid of these. And multiplying by 12 over here got rid of those, like canceling it out. Now you should be able to finish it, right? All right, go ahead and finish it on your own. Look up and see if you got the right answer. Why didn't you do this?